Hi everyone, it's Marley. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to do this new trendy pop art uh, nail design. In my Facebook group, I posted this design and I asked you guys if you wanted me to show you how to do the leaf or the pumpkin and um, everybody voted for the leaf so I am going to show you how I did that. Um, so I got my thumbnail here. I already dipped um, this nail into, uh, let's see, what was the color? It was Hilltop. Hilltop from the um, from the fall collection, the latest fall collection. Um, so it's already activated. I filed and shaved the nail, so I am ready to go. Um, the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to draw my little design. Um, so let's see here, hang on, let me get something. I need some something to put my finger on just so I can get some stability. <laughs> I'm normally shaky, um, so yeah, I need something to kind of just give me some support. I'm gonna try to do it right in the middle here. And then one up and down. Actually, yeah, hang on. Uh, down is going to be a long one. And then up and down. Long, long line. Okay. Then on this side, I'm going to do a small line. Both of them are going to be small, this one and this one. And then I'm going to do a longer one, pointing up a little bit. And then I'm going to make it real curvy and bring it down. And then this one is going to poke out like this. And it's going to be a short line. And then I'm going to bring it toward the middle. So I am going to pretend I have a line right here. And that's where I'm going to stop my line for this, um, this you know, final little petal thingy. Okay, now the other side. Um, I am going to do the opposite. I'm not going to do a short line. I'm going to do a longer one um, just to kind of change it up a little. Okay. I'm going to make a long one right here like that. And then I'm going to bring it down. And this one is going to be short. And then I'm going to do one. I, and I, I'm gonna do another line and I'm not gonna bring it up this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it kind of straight a little bit like that. Um, and I'm gonna bring it down also just to match where I started that one. And then I'm gonna do a small one um, right here. Everything is like these pointy little thingies. This one I'm gonna bring it down to kind of like towards this line, this long line right here. And then after that, I am going to draw a long line to the side and I'm gonna make it curvy. And then I'm going to bring it back and it's going 
to meet this one right here and then my stem is that the stem yes is it i don't know whatever this little thing is okay so there i have my design owie this hurts <laughs> okay um so that's what it looks like my leaf let me just kind of the ring light okay here see so for me it's easier to draw the design first and then i can move on into just like working with my gels the next step is i'm going to apply uh, my base coat my uv base coat hang on let me get that again Nothing is going to happen to my drawing um, whenever I apply the gel, it's going to be fine. I'm making sure that I am not touching my skin with the gel. I don't have any allergies, but I don't like to touch my skin with gels just because, you know, that's the best way for you to prevent developing a gel allergy. So, okay. And I'm gonna make sure I cap my free edges right here. It's very important, you guys, to do this if you want your, your nails to last. Don't forget to do that. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Um, now I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds and I'll be back. That is cured. Now, uh, because this is base, um, base gel, it has a sticky layer. Um, so the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is, um, I'm gonna be drawing the, um, you know, lines with some black gel polish, and I have two brushes. Um, this brush is it's not super long, but it's kind of like medium length and it's super super skinny. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be using uh, to do my line like around the nail, and I have this one and it's short and this is the one i'm going to be using to draw the leaf so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little baggie and i am going to put some black gel on it okay and then um, I'm gonna have this little lint free wipe um, handy just because you know I will probably need to um, clean my brushes at some point so um, I'm gonna keep that close and of course my alcohol as well and first I actually I am going to start by making sure that my brush is clean so I get some alcohol here. I can't mess up this nail. Oops. Okay. Just wanna make sure it's clean. Okay. And let's do this. <laughs> okay. So find something, you guys, that you can hold, you know, so you can keep your finger you know steady in your hand as well so right here i am putting my pinky putting my pinky on top of my alcohol bottle and so that helps me because i can't i can't do it free-handed i mean i'm too, way too shaky so i'm just resting my pinky on here and then i will be doing my drawings okay so i'm gonna grab some of that gel 
how it is important that when you guys get your gel on your brush let me show you what's gonna happen you do not want to have this little you know drop of gel here you want to wipe that off because if you have that then your line is gonna be like super thick so grab some gel and then wipe off the end of your brush so it looks like this okay all right let's do this uh, I'm gonna start right here Looks kind of weird. I want to make it pointy, so let's see if I can fix that. Okay. Okay. Let me grab a little bit more. These tiny little lines are kind of hard <laughs> to do. They're just like super small. Okay. barely grabbing gel you guys look just a little bit just a little bit you want to keep these lines thin There's my so there's my outline of um, the leaf and what I'm gonna do is I like to like I'm not done like I could actually just like start working on the black lines you know this one's around the nail um, but I like to kind of like cure a little bit I'm not gonna cure it for the full 60 seconds I'm just gonna do like a flash cure for I don't know, maybe just 10 seconds and then I will continue um, doing the other stuff so I'll be back okay um, I flash cured that little um, leaf and you know the ones that I did first these ones right here um, they look pretty dark these ones are like a little lighter so I'm gonna go over some of the lines again Okay, um, so I went over the lines and now it looks a little darker. Can you see? Okay, I'm gonna flash cure that 10 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, so I flashed cure that and now I am going to work on the outer line. So, same thing, um, this one is a longer one, and if you are not good at drawing lines, 
um, you guys need to get yourselves a skinny brush that is long like this I think I have a longer one but that's all right I'm just gonna use this one yeah I'm just gonna use this one um, okay that way you can just put your uh, brush like flat right and just bring it out and it helps a lot with lines So let's get started. Okay. Let's see. Am I gonna need to put my finger here? Yes, no. I don't know. This is awkward. Uh, okay, this is better. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to place my brush and I'm going to keep it flat, you guys, flat, 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 and just bring it up. Oh, that was bad. <sighs> All right. Let's uh, do that again. It's hard to see you guys with the ring light here on top of me. This is shiny kind of makes it harder sometimes okay there we go there's our first line and then I'm gonna do the other one on the other side and oh my god hopefully i don't get off camera here this is just so weird okay remember keep it flat until you get to the end you keep it flat oh my goodness Now I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to make that line thicker because you can barely see it, right? Only if I turn my finger you can see it. So let's let's work on that. Okay. some of my previous videos oh my gosh I had these brushes they were old and oh. it won't stop <laughs> it's my alarm oh my goodness stop 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 it won't stop Hang on just a minute. <laughs> my phone. What happened to my phone? I got my brush in my mouth, you guys. Oh my god. Struggle. Struggle. Okay. <laughs> Time for my husband to take his pills. That's what it was. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Life happens, right? <laughs> going to flash cure again for about 10 seconds and I'll be right back okay 
Um, I flash cured that and I am going to go over those lines again. I think so. I need them to be like really black. So, oh, hang on, let me just grab that again. This helped a lot. Now what I am going to do is I am going to cure this for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, that is cured and now I forgot to do something with the black. <laughs> and that was this little, um, this little line right here which is the line that kind of makes it look like cartoon-ish, you know? And so I am going to do a very thin line right here, this corner. So this one is gonna be going up and then the other one is gonna be going sideways. Very short, very short lines. Okay. Okay, that is good. Um, now, um, I'm gonna bring my baggie and I am going to get some of this white gel polish. And I'm not going to need a whole bunch. And I think that's a lot. <laughs> but no, um, I'm gonna need just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is, hang on, let me move this. Okay, what I'm gonna be doing is a white line and that white line is going to start from here and I'm gonna create that curve and I'm gonna bring it up, right? But I'm gonna make sure that I'm not gonna go over my design because I want that to look like the white line is underneath my leaf, so. Uh, let's do that. Remember, you do not need a whole bunch of gel on your brush. It's better that you have less. You can always go over your lines again. That's too much. Okay. So, see how that looks like, hang on, see how that looks like it is underneath the leaf, that's what you want. And then I'm gonna do like a little tiny, kind of like a little tiny dot, like that. Mm. 
see. Right there. Okay, I am going to work on my on the inside of the leaf and I'm gonna use some yellow. And I am going to use like this orangey looking one. And I'm gonna make it look like, like the leaf is changing colors. So I'm gonna use my um, skinny brush, the one that's small. And I'm going to apply yellow. And I'm gonna start like right here in the middle. Um, all right, now I am going to, let's just wipe this brush here a little bit and I'm gonna grab a little bit of the orange and I'm gonna put it up here and I'm gonna make sure that I'm not going to be touching the black lines. I mean, if you touch the black lines, it's all right. You could just go over with the black, so it's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna put the orange right there where the little pointy areas are. All right, do I have them all? Yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna start blending uh, the two colors. So I'm just gonna do away with these little lines. Just gonna just, you know, bring it down to where the yellow is at. Again, it doesn't have to be in a certain pattern or anything. It's just random, you guys. It's just um, whatever you like. If you want to make, if you want to make it look more orange, then you know you just uh, put more orange, bring it down a little bit more. Or you can totally just use different colors. But I thought these two colors were really cute together. Let me wipe the brush a little bit. And bring that bring that orange down here. I might I might add more. This is a bigger nail, so this leaf is bigger than that one. But I don't know. We will see. Um, I think I want more orange down here. Sometimes I wipe my brush just to get rid of whatever color, you know, it's there and so I can move that orange down without putting like yellow on top of the orange. Okay. What do you guys think? Should I make it, should I bring the orange down a little bit more? Uh, maybe this one right here. Maybe. 
maybe a little bit more here. I think that's good. I think that looks okay. This looks weird, there's a line, weird line there. Okay. All right. Um, let me just put a little bit more orange on top of here. Which one was it? This one. Okay. Okay. I think I like that. Mm -hmm. um, now what I'm gonna do is these lines right here the, it's like a darker green and I don't have a green that color um, I am going to make my own little color here this is the only green I had and it's like super light and I need it to be dark I need it to be darker than the green that I have on my nail right now so, I'm going to take some of this black and I am going to mix it with the green just to make it darker. I think I need to put a little bit more black here so I can... So I can make it, you know, dark. <clears throat> okay. bit of yellow just to kind of make it a uh, like a warm green okay let's see what that looks like I think it's okay I'm just gonna leave it like that okay um now I am going to need my short brush and let me wipe that with alcohol just to make sure i think i cleaned it but just to make sure that it is clean okay so i don't have a whole lot of room really to do these lines but that's what i gotta do this one's right here that one and this one and so i guess i'm just gonna try to squeeze them in there let me get my alcohol bottle here and let's try okay this is awkward too much gel okay oh my gosh you guys I totally do not have enough space for this line let's just let's just see okay it's supposed to come up here I got, I keep on putting my brushes in my mouth 
and I can't talk to you guys. Okay, I keep on getting too close to the black. So let's move that green. And I just did it way too much because I was going towards the flower here. I knew this one was not gonna turn out like the other one. It always happens. Every time I do my nails and they turn out like looking, you know, pretty good. And then I decide to do a tutorial and I struggle. That's just not fair. That was bad that was bad i i made my leaf just too big um you know you should make it smaller like this one so you can actually you know do these little green light um lines but uh, i'm just gonna have to leave it like that Not much I can do. That's all right. I am going to cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so that is cured, and now I'm going to use some of my black gel. And I'm going to be working on the inside of my leaf. So I'm going to be creating some black lines inside right and these little black lines and okay so let's see I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and look at this one and then come here and do that so i'm gonna get some of that black gel and there, <clears throat> there is one line coming down the middle I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of this orange and this yellow to make like a let's put a little bit of black. Let's put a little bit of this green. I don't know, just a random color for the stem. Let's put more green. turned into a brownish color which is good so I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna do the stem it's like a perfect color actually remember orange yellow a little bit of black and the green or just whatever color you want to use, really. Okay. I'm going to cure this nail for just uh, 10 seconds. Just a flash cure. Okay. Um, now I'm going to be working on these little white lines. 
which is what kind of makes it look like you know cartoonish um okay so i'm gonna be looking at my pointer finger now and that way i can kind of place the lines where they belong I just so i can do the same thing i did on the other nail okay so let's start with the stem let me get that again okay uh, now these white lines they have to be thin okay so just like barely any like very little gel very little gel Okay, I think this is good. Anything in the middle? No, nothing. Alright. What do you think? Looks okay. Alright. Um, so, I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, that is cured and now I am going to be using my no wipe matte top coat it's a really good top coat and um, it applies really nicely it self levels really quick and it cures super even You can totally do your nails with a shiny finish if you like. Um, I kind of like the matte because, I don't know, I think it kind of, I don't know, it kind of just, you know, shows the all the lines and the details a little bit more when using the matte. Now I'm making sure that I'm covering that black line completely, but I'm staying away from my skin. And don't forget to cap your free edges. Okay. Okay, so I am going to cure this one for 60 seconds and then I will be done. Okay, that is fully cured and I am done with my little uh, pop art cartoon looking nail design. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy the video, uh, totally give it a try, I think it turned out super super cute, 
um, if you have any questions um, just go ahead and leave a comment and I will get to those um, as soon as I can I am normally like super super busy um, but I will answer as quick as I can um, don't forget to like the tutorial and share it and all of that good stuff um, I hope you have a great day and see you next time. Bye.